the next thing to check for would be fuel pressure because that can make all those things happen. And so I made this little um, fuel rail pressure gauge assembly. It's not a permanent thing as you can see it flops around and stuff, but it's there for, to um, test it out. So um, I made this so that it clamp or it you know, takes the pressure reading right off from the cold start injector and this pipe goes right down to the fuel rail. So it should or it'll have the full pressure, especially if the engine's not running when I measure it. And to make it, I just used a longer M8 by 1.0 um, bolt here, um, because it's got to be longer to fit all these extra fittings on it. And I drilled it out to make it a banjo fitting, and then I used the M10 nut here as a spacer, and this one up here with a hole drilled in it. And I epoxied in this uh, piece of capillary tube, which is just a small copper pipe. And goes right up here to this gauge, and then there's some copper washers to uh, act as a seal, and it's pretty simple to make, and um, it will show me exactly what the fuel pressure is, and so um, so they don't have to have it running. I'll just jumper the battery plus and fuel pump connectors on this uh, diagnostics port by using a paper clip right there. And you can see where the battery is fully charged right now too. And you can see it's only putting out about 16 PSI. And then when I take it out, the pressure goes down immediately. So that definitely that means there's a definitely a fuel pressure problem. So yep, this is a pretty easy and easy way to check if you check your fuel pressure and like I said this isn't a permanent thing but I mean it's easier to remove you just pull this out and then put the original banjo fitting in and it's a lot cheaper than buying a $54 kit for it because you know, it's just a couple uh, pressure gauge a couple brass fittings a piece of copper pipe and a uh, nut and a bolt so thanks for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments and